Hey y'all, it's Grizz here at Windmill Farm. Y'all come along this week's adventure. I say this week, this adventure today, as uh, I'm over here at a friend of mine's house, Mr. Berries, and we're doing a little uh, reload today. So y'all come along with the adventure on us, all right? Hey y'all, I forgot to show y'all us punching the primers. See how you can see through there? Uh, I forgot to show y'all us punching the primers out. The, these dies are already set. Um, I might do a video later on about how to set dies, but right now we're just reloading these 556s, 223 Remington shells. Uh, we're going to be loading them to a 556 um, uh, charge, though. Um, all we did was simply went through there. We had to grease them all a little bit and then punch the uh, primers out. Now I'm doing is cleaning the primer pocket. If you can see in there how dirty that primer is, I'm trying to show y'all. Yeah, you got to clean these pockets out to make sure that they fire right. So what we're doing now is we're going through here and uh, we're cleaning them out. See how you can see a brass liner in there now? That's what we're doing. So um, I apologize that I didn't get the uh, punch in the primers out. It's very easy. Once you set the die in there, you just pull the handle down and go back up. And basically what it does is not only does it punch out that primer, it's also redoing the neck size, both inside and outside of the neck right there. Didn't just break something, did you? So, sorry about that. I thought Barry went to the ground there for a minute. But anyway, it also does the neck right there. So um, I might try to show you with one or two more here in a minute. Um, but anyway, we're, we got this machine here. And let me turn this around and show you what we're doing. This, there's a brush on that and it's spinning. Basically, we're taking the dirty brass and we're sticking it down over that brush. And that brush is almost wore out. So what we're doing is, is we're kind of rotating that brush around, that casing around though, that primer pocket on it just a little bit. And what it's doing is allowing it, that brush to get up in there and actually get all that old corrosion and unspent powder that, you know, come out of the primer itself. Let's see where we're at. All right, see how it's nice and clean off in there? There you go, y'all can see a lot better with that. That's what we're looking for right there. We're trying to clean that primer pocket out the best we can, all right? So y'all see we got about 100 here to do. So when we get to the next stage, we'll show y'all again, all right? All righty, y'all. If y'all can see that little bit of lip on there, we're gonna swage that primer pocket just a little bit and get that lip right on the edge. Y'all can see it shiny out there. We're gonna get that off there, all right? The way you do that is, we're gonna put it up here. Just press just a little bit. And try to see if this thing will. You can see it a little bit. I need to sway that one just a little bit more. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. I'm trying to get it focused for y'all. Alright. So we're gonna swedge all these swage them and then we'll be ready to put primers in them and then go from there all right y'all y'all um next thing now we've got all this uh done up to where we uh got the pockets opened up a little bit better for the primers to go in um we've loaded up um you see all the primers in there we've loaded up the hand priming unit on this because uh, what we have is a single stage uh rcbs uh, so we're going to be hand doing all the primer we're, that's the next thing we're going to set up and I'll turn this camera around and we'll get you going that way All right, y'all You notice we got jaws in here that will hold the base of that see them jaws that Will open up there that will actually hold the base of that casing Now as you squeeze the handle What's going to happen is is that primer is going to get 
pushed up into that pocket that we just opened up and cleaned. And then when you turn it over, you have a nice primer ready to go. Now that's all we're gonna do. We've got a hundred of them here we're gonna get done. We're gonna get them done. And since it's something that has to be done with two hands, we'll come back to you after it's done. <laughs> all right. Okay, I've already reloaded some here with the powder. Basically what we're doing here is the trickler. We have an automatic dispenser trickler here. Um, so the way that it's doing is, is it's actually putting out the exact amount that we need. We're using 22.5 grains of 4064 IMR in here. And then because I'm doing this one handed so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm putting a 77 grain bullet off in here and then slowly going up with it. And all it's doing is setting it to the proper depth, okay? But what we're doing is, is we'll put this up here and I'll show you this how this works. We already have it programmed in here. And if y'all notice, it's dispensing that powder. Now, if you notice down here, it's kind of hard to see that. And we're looking for 23.5, y'all. And what this thing is, is when it gets close, it's just barely moving and barely trickling out. And it'll get us an exact load. Now, see, it's at 22.5. It will beep. That beep lets us know it's ready. So now we can open the door again, get our powder out, dispense it in there. And basically, the powder don't go all the way down immediately. You have to kind of... Do it. Notice how there's no powder in the funnel no more. And once that does that, then we're ready to put that back on the next round. We'll take this and set this over here. I'm trying to do this one handed. It actually goes a little smoother when I'm doing it both hands. But once I put that back in there, it starts dispensing again, okay? We put this over here. And then we put our bullet on the very top up here. And then we just slowly go up with it all the way down with the handle back up and it loads it and then well let me see it mag length and then we're, we're doing it to mag length there that's all we're doing overall length is just to fit the magazine because these five five sixes will knock any of that out so we're going to continue loading these up and we'll be back with y'all in a minute all right thing you didn't see was us finishing up the 100 rounds of 556 five, and putting them in um putting them in the the locker with the rest of the rounds that's the only thing i didn't film um it's not meant to be a technical video this was just a quick video showing y'all what we were doing on a rainy day reloading some 556 five, so um like the video comment if you don't mind we i love reading the comments and answering them uh, if you want to see something a little bit more technical let me know in the comments below and uh yeah i'm gonna tell y'all have a blessed day and as always be safe